And how's it going guys, Joshua Lafemi here. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to keyframe smoothly. A lot of you guys may already know what keyframing is. It's basically changing or animating an effect over time. But is it true that all of your keyframes look like this? Kind of linear and not really smooth. Would you rather your keyframes look like this? I'm gonna show you how to do that in this tutorial. Keyframing is changing an effect over time. I'm gonna give you a quick example with this clip. With this clip, you of course can go into effects controls like you probably already know, and you can change the position. You can move it in the X direction to the left and to the right. But how do I actually animate this position parameter so it changes over time? Well, how about this? How about I have the clip start on the left and I assign um, and I say I want the clip to be at the left at the beginning. And then by the time I go to the end of the clip, I want it to go all the way to the right. Well, I'm going to first go to the beginning of the clip, make sure it's at the parameter I want. Then I'm going to toggle keyframes by, st by clicking on the toggle animation stopwatch. That's going to create a keyframe right at the beginning. I can move anywhere I want, but I'm going to put it at the beginning. Then I'm going to move over to the end and then I'm going to move my position parameter over here. Now between this keyframe and this keyframe, my clip is going to be animated and move from one parameter to the other because I have toggle keyframes on. So check this out. I'm going to press space bar to play. We've got two tickets, one for me and one for you. And we're going to take a flight way down to Sydney, Australia. Pretty easy, right? I can move this wherever I want. I can move this closer to this keyframe. That means okay. it'll move faster. So I've got two tickets, one for me and one for because the keyframes are close together. Or I can move the keyframe further apart. That means it's going to move a lot slower because it has a lot more time to move in between this keyframe and this keyframe okay. as far as the position parameter goes. One for you. And we're going to take a flight way down to Sydney, Australia. You get the point. So now I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to first just uh, delete all the keyframes by taking the stopwatch off. I'm going to reset all these parameters. I'm going to do something that you've probably seen in some of my other tutorials. Watch this. I'm going to create a mask on the opacity. You don't have to do this, but this is the way I like to do it. I like to basically have a mask, a circle mask around me so that I'm talking to you, but I'm not taking up the whole screen. And then underneath me, maybe I'll put, you know, uh, you know, a picture or another video or maybe the Premiere Pro um, interface or whatever underneath it. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you this one thing. I'm going to take the feather down to zero. I want you to see that I can now move myself as so. I'm going to shrink my position a little bit. But one thing that I want to do is I want to have myself go from the side off the off frame. And then I want myself to come in and then start talking. So I'm going to come in like that. Well, you guys probably already figured out how to do that. Basically, I'm going to go over to the beginning. I'm going to set my position keyframe. I'm going to first toggle keyframes. And then I'm going to go and set my position parameter so that I'm all the way off of frame on the left side. And then I'm going to go maybe to like right here to the right here uh, in the clip. And then I'm going to move my position parameter over to where I want it. So I want myself right. I want to end up right here and then I want to start talking there. Let's look at how this looks. Press play. So I've got two tickets, one for me and one for you. And we're going to take a flight way down to Sydney, Australia. OK, that looks cool, right? But it's kind of it. I don't I like how linear the movement is. It's very it, it, it ends very harshly. It, it's a very sharp ending when I get to. So I've got two tickets, one for me and one for you. When I get to right there, it's very hard. I want there to be a smooth, gradual okay. ending. How do I do that? Very easy. I am going to smooth these keyframes by highlighting them. I'm going to smooth the movement by highlighting these two keyframes, key right clicking, doing temporal interpolation, and I'm going to s switch it to Bezier. Perfect. Now let's see how it looks. So I've got two tickets, one for me and one for you. And you, you may not be able to tell, but it's a tiny, tiny bit smoother. But I'm going to show you the secret trick as far as how to make these keyframes super, super smooth. What you do is you have to go into this carrot right next to position. And then we're going to zoom in and you can see that we have a graph editor right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this little thing right here and you're going to move the graph so that there's a huge hump. First, you're going to make sure this is as low as possible. Then you're going to then you're going to push this thing to the left. So that there's a huge hump on this left side. That means that it's going to start really fast and then it's going to slowly slow down into a very gradual stop and you should be able to see the result. Let's uh, press play. 
So I've got two tickets, one for me and one for you. And I don't know if you saw that. See how much there was almost like a a spring. It was really, really bounce a spring motion. It was very, very smooth. So I've got two tickets, one for me and one for you. And we're gonna take a flight way down to We're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you one last time. I want you to see how it looks in the graph editor, where it's at. It starts off really fast and it gets really, really smooth and, and uh goes to a very gradual stop. So I've got two tickets, one for me and one for you. And we're gonna take a flight way down to And that's it guys. Keyframing is really easy. You can do you can do this with any effect. You can keyframe the position, you can keyframe the scale, the rotation, the anchor point, literally anything that you want. Try it out, play around with it. Tell me how tell me uh in the comments um maybe some other ways that you've found uh, keyframe and keyframing and maybe even masking to be helpful thanks so much for watching guys and um, i'm gonna actually have another tutorial where i show you how to do this exact same thing in after effects thanks so much for watching guys and as always remember to keep it chill